Doom Eternal is a very gory game. If that's not your cup of tea, turn back now. If it is, stick around. I'm Jib Smart, and this is what Doom Eternal should play like on the PS4 and Switch. I've turned off aim assist, and I'm using gyro aiming for a position that can't be matched with a thumbstick. You can use gyro aiming with regular stick controls, but I'm also using flick stick for even better agility with a controller. See my very short intro to flick stick video from last year if you're not familiar with it already. Doom Eternal doesn't provide these options, so I'm using Joyshock Mapper for flick stick and the best gyro controls around, and I'm using Steam to give me just the left analog stick so I can dash in any direction without the game's native stick aiming and weapon wheel interfering with my other changes. And I've got no weapon wheel. I'll explain that later. But lots of people have asked for Doom Eternal gameplay with gyro and flick stick. Here it is, and stick around until the end to see how I access every weapon quickly without the weapon wheel, and how Doom Eternal could do even better.
As you can see, gyro aiming is super useful for precision shooting. And while flickstick is good in any shooter, it's especially useful after a dash to quickly round your enemy and give him trouble. These work great with PlayStation and Switch controllers, but Xbox controllers just don't have a gyro. This means the PS4 version should play way better than the Xbox version, but at the moment it doesn't. Doom doesn't have gyro aiming or flick stick. But what about the weapon wheel? Let's start with the options I wish they would give us on top of the weapon wheel. These would work great with any controller, gyro or not. Now, if you've seen my crisis video, you know I much prefer my weapon wheels to have face button shortcuts for faster selection. They are more responsive, and they take away that uncertainty of whether the player is tilting the stick to select a weapon, or just because they are moving the camera. But we only have 4 face buttons. Doom gives us 8 weapons. I don't have the BFG yet. But look, there are 4 obvious categories here. Shotguns, bullet weapons, energy weapons, and let's call the rocket launcher and the BFG crowd control. So the simple solution is to have a face button correspond to each of these weapon categories. While the weapon select button is held, pressing triangle gives you the combat shotgun, circle gives you the heavy cannon, X gives you the plasma rifle, and square gives you the rocket launcher. These are your bread and butter weapons, and they're the first ones you'll find in each category. Pressing the button for the weapon category you're already in can toggle back and forth between the two weapons in that category. Using the combat shotgun and want the super shotgun, weapon select plus triangle. Back to combat shotgun, weapon select plus triangle again. If I'm not already holding a shotgun, how do I get to the super shotgun quickly? Weapon select and double tap triangle to go straight to your super shotgun. Easy, right? For the sake of responsiveness, the game could drop my current weapon and start bringing out the combat shotgun on the first press, and then interrupt that and bring out the super shotgun when the second press is detected. Now, Doom's weapon wheel has a delay so that players can just tap the weapon select button to switch to their previously used weapon. But because weapon select plus a face button communicates the player's intention unambiguously, these shortcuts could work even during that weapon wheel delay, without taking away the option to tap the button for your previous weapon. This means players will be able to switch to any weapon super quickly without being interrupted by the weapon wheel, while new players still benefit from time slowing down and the weapon wheel popping up when it's held for long enough. Now, neither Steam nor Joyshock Mapper know which weapon I already have out, so my configuration doesn't quite work like this. I have the weapon wheel disabled, and I still have all the first weapons in each category mapped to a combination of the weapon select button and the face buttons. For the second weapon in each category, I use weapon select plus the directional pad. But that doesn't feel great, because I have to take my thumb off the left stick or claw with my index finger. Still, I prefer it over the weapon wheel. But Doom Eternal could be just that much better with these shortcuts built in, with that awareness of what weapon you already have equipped. Of course, there's nothing stopping you from using Joyshock Mapper to play Doom Eternal with flick stick, gyro aiming, and a weapon wheel if you want. But you have to lose the full left stick movement and map it to WASD, because Joyshock Mapper fakes gyro aiming and flick stick with virtual mouse movements, and Doom Eternal's weapon wheel doesn't respond to mouse movements when it detects a gamepad. This is surely a bug. Players using a controller and a mouse at the same time would definitely want to be able to use the mouse to control the weapon wheel. So maybe Doom's developers will fix that in future. Thanks for watching. Developers, check out GyroWiki for resources on how to implement flickstick and gyro aiming well. Even if you already have gyro aiming in your game, check it out because I haven't played a game with good native gyro aiming yet. And developer or not, let me know what you think or what else you'd like to see me play. Subscribe if you want more and let's change how games are played.